Hello, this is my third blog discussion. It is on the reading Violent Media is Good for Kids. Uh, and the author is uh, Jared Jones, or Gerard Jones. Um, so, I, I think that Gerard Jones makes an excellent point uh, in this reading. So, being exposed to violence at a young age isn't necessarily going to make your child a, a, a violent uh, person when they grow up, right? Um, if anything, uh, it'll, it, it helps it helps them to to find someone that they can relate to. Uh, for example, in the, in the reading, uh, Gerard or Jones uses uh, the Incredible Hulk as a um, uh, as someone to relate to uh, in, in order to express rage, right? Um, uh, another uh, great point that Joan makes is that uh, every child is going to feel rage at some point, right? Regardless of how sheltered that child is, uh, they they definitely will uh, reach a boiling point, no matter uh, what it is, right? In in, in, in during their their childhood, um, and the children who suppress uh, who suppress this rage, they 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 have a very difficult time learning how to express it right in a, in a healthy manner and I think these comic books uh, definitely do help uh, some kids learn how to do it um, so uh, for me personally growing up I I was exposed to a lot of uh, violent <laughs> violent video games right uh, stuff that was like rated M for mature uh, I remember as a kid playing I think it was like a I think it's Star Wars Battlefront which was a first-person Star Wars uh, shooting game. Uh, I remember playing the zombie survival games. I remember playing uh, a lot of games from the Call of Duty franchise. And uh, I myself am not a violent kid. Or I wasn't a violent kid, and, and nor am I a violent person now. If anything, those uh, playing those violent video games, they were they they taught me uh, certain lessons um, that a lot of kids. Uh, they don't they're not really taught anymore or not taught but they don't really learn until they're much older which is kind of I think is a huge disadvantage for them um, so uh, for example uh, messages that I picked up right or at least that, that I learned was you know um, so messages that, that I picked up were honor right like honoring uh, your word honoring pledges honoring honoring uh, sacrifices stuff like that uh, forgiveness uh, pursuit of justice and uh, the, 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 the the real meaning of, of duty of, of, of your duty right? um, and I myself grew up as a, a religious kid and and uh, I was a stickler for following the rules I, I would always tell the truth um, even even if it cost me getting into trouble um, I would always tell the truth very honest and um, I, I, I wasn't a bad kid. I wasn't violent. And even though I, I played so many violent video games, uh, in a way, whenever I was angry, it, it was very, um, it was quite uh, easy for me to express my my anger um, it, while playing those video games. So it was it's definitely a very helpful uh, thing for myself. If anything, I, 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 I my, in my personal opinion, I believe that uh, bad parenting uh, causes children to, to become violent, right? Not necessarily the uh, the, the video games themselves, right? Uh, as a parent, you know, you, you have to be able to teach your, your children uh, social skills, or if yourself won't teach them, then you uh, need to let them learn them by themselves with, with their friends, right? Going to like sleepovers and stuff like that. Uh, they have to be able to pick up uh, social skills because if they don't, right, they, they tend to be outcast or, or bullied. And, and when that happens and they can't express their, their, their rage, right, quote unquote rage, they can't express it, then, you know, unfortunately, the only way they can do it is with a very natural and very alive response. And that is never good. Thank you.